I genuinely think Umber Glaive is a super broken item if you, I mean, spread it around in your team. So not just the supports for Vision, but everyone who can buy it too. So Misfortune Umber Glaive Rush with a kiting oriented, attack speed oriented build with some armor penetration. Uh, I'm, I'm just straight up playing this on my main in Diamond 1. So I have faith in this build, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. Siva in lane, we should be getting these minions, shouldn't we? Yeah, we get them all three with W. Hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well, by the way. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description. And uh, yeah, this build, it's also one of those builds that makes good use of misfortune's item flexibility. But your mana is super restricted, you have to be so careful that you don't mismanage your spells. For the most part, you just want to be auto-attacking the wave in lane without using any spells. Well, that didn't land. She probably lives, though. Hmm. I could have flashed Autoward maybe, but it was a split second decision. And there is a mosquito on my arm, and it's really annoying. Ah, real life RNG. Anyway, we pop a potion here. We're super low. If a jungler comes, then we're in trouble. Okay. Uh, I guess we pop another potion. Even. Give up that minion so we don't take damage from Lulu. Yeah, we're of course maxing E because that's the way to go always in the current patch. Alright, we do have quite the healthy mana total right now. Well, I wouldn't base here ever. I'm positioned to strike. They know from my body language that Thresh is in there, I guess. Yeah, they're playing the smarts. They have no reason to risk it. Oh, they can ward that hook is on cooldown. But I'm just getting my free farm, don't say no to that. Nice, and I'm getting more stacks for zombie ward already. Despite not having Umbral Glaive yet. Okay, should get the cannon, sure. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Not sure if that was worth. But I baited out her spell shield just like that. She can't spell shield anything if I don't Q. Q is the only instance of damage she could spell shield. If I don't press it, her spell shield is useless. I can just wait it out and then Q. Waves under tower. Yeah, our health advantage really goes a long way in this lane. Normally Siva is the one who's constantly pushing, but now we can just keep her under tower and keep her busy. And what am I supposed to do, Thresh, if Sejuani is running me down? I wonder. Wonder what he wanted me to do there. Should probably attack a minion, then try to kill me. Okay. Sivir is in base. The Thresh is roaming, that's so bad for me. Another wave, it would have been pushing away from me either way, so there's nothing I can do about that. I will lose this wave, but it's no big deal. I can just base and get my stuff and hopefully return when the wave resets. We'll see though. I guess I don't need boots, but I, I want them right now. 
Better safe than sorry. My positioning is important. I don't want to take too much damage from Sivas skill shots. Yeah, okay, she insta clears the wave. That's super good for me. Oh, Thresh is getting nothing done, huh? He just dies. Everyone dies. Wow. That's disheartening. Siva is still here. I don't mind the early boots though. This build also generates a lot of gold with Treasure Hunter and with Umber Glaive. I ran to Lulu trying to dodge that. That's so bad for me. Wow, Thresh. <laughs> Just ruining minions for no reason. Okay. Yeah, I might need an early vamp scepter, actually. We have multiple people here. Siva ults. Okay, Lulu's not trying to assassinate me. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the early vamp scepter in this lane. I need more mana. A little bit. Okay, that's enough. This is why you max E. Precisely. So these ER combos actually kill. Yeah, I need to head out here. If I stay, all I can do is die. Victor dead? Yes, he is. Perfect. Okay, uh, I guess I just get Umber Glaive right now. It's too big a power spike to forego, even for lifesteal. Umber Glaive, Longsword, Dagger. Dagger is nice because it lets me uh, save mana. Or actually, yeah, Longsword, Dagger, sure. Alright. So far, so good. Again, this build is so good with kiting. You have so much movement speed and attack speed, plus overheal and lifesteal. It's actually great. You're very hard to catch. Thresh deleting another minion for no reason. Patience is key in this game. Patience. Yeah, Sivir is not okay. He just delivers a ricochet to me for no reason. Okay. Yeah, this Thresh is giga tilted, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. But yeah, we can clear vision, we can get gold, we can keep up the pressure. Already five stacks on Zombie Ward. An ally has been slain. I queued in her shield, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, super good. Nice. All right, clean. Again, this is why you max E. People just don't see it coming. Alright, um... 
They're already on the way back to lane. This is a bad dragon timing. We're all low. I need to buy my uh, buy my items. Yeah, it's it's no, it's not working. We have to do it like this. Nice. All right. It's already quite a bit of attack speed. Again, um, misfortune typically doesn't really need upgraded boots, but with Presti attack, berserkers are just way too good. Especially when we go for a build like this with lots of kiting, we don't mind them. This rune is making us so rich. 400 gold already. Gotta kill that Gwen for the juicy 150 extra. But yeah, with all this attack speed, I don't need any spells anymore. I'm farming. No, with life still an overheal, the ricochets also don't matter anymore. We know this is all not warded. Super good information, super valuable. Okay, she goes for me instead of the wave, that's interesting. That actually catches me off guard with that damage. Okay. But yeah, I can just chill. Collapse. Let's go. Oh, that didn't work at all, huh? Yeah, Zack didn't manage to keep them in my ulti. It's all he needed to do, but it didn't work for some reason. Now Siva gets so much stuff for free. It's quite annoying. Ugh. That play should have been way better, but it just didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. You're not getting the tower, my friend. Not yet. She's so rich though. All the platings and the minions she got for free. Alright, we're still in good shape of course, but that play was a little bit disheartening. Basing here, hmm? I don't agree. No ward in there. She got Kraken. Alright, I'll base. Get my items. Ah, uh, mid lane. Bot lane tower will fall too, but who cares. First tower's gone anyway. Gwen's getting fed too. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game. That team's really not on top of the world. She gets away too, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah, this Zack is uh, very inconsistent. Super unlucky. I could potentially kill Sibber with my ult. Hmm, okay, they're all topside. There's a free Drake. Nice, at the very least. If Siva stays, she's dead. Yeah, okay, we just take tower. Attack speed plus lethality is super good for taking towers. Oh, 
Ulting is just a safe bet. I could have auto attacked too, but better safe than sorry. Killing the wave at the same time, so there's no opportunity for counterplay for them. Good blade and now work towards mythic. <clears throat> All right. My auto attacks hit like a truck now. And yeah, Umbra Glaive is such nice quality of life. You know what's warded and what isn't warded. Giga broken item. Like, look at this. All this vision just denied. But all the attacks with really good mana substitute. On my way. Nice, okay. All the kiting, the movement speed is really valuable. I'd say we just take mid lane tower, but this works too, I suppose. Herald is good because then they cannot take it anymore, which is in inher inherently valuable. Alright, let me get a serrated duck. Actually, I don't need to. I could just stay on the map. Stay on the map, try to get vision control. Okay, this control ward can easily be taken. Come on, dude. Wow. Yeah, this Thresh is playing super bad. I really hope he catches himself. Okay, good one. Just let him ghost away. Okay, I can't get away from that one. Ah, oh, the Gwen flank. Should have disengaged way earlier. I risked it for no reason. Once we get Eclipse, though, we're even better, because 10 extra movement speed, plus lethality, plus movement speed when we hit people, it's really good. Oh, they're really on it. Ah, oh, come on. Good teleport. That should get them off of it. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Everything's okay. No reason to worry. No, we're definitely still in this game, but really Thresh needs to get his act together. Interesting heralds. Okay, Silver Flash is out, but yeah, with Herald pressure and everything, taking Dragon, this, it's not warded as well, right? No wards. Uh, 
Oh well, we get Dragon and we trade for their AD carry. <clears throat> it's uh, better than nothing, you know. Thresh dies, but that's to be expected. Two drakes for us. I mean, we're not looking bad at all. It's just, it's really just Thresh's mental and Silas, who needs to get back into the game. <clears throat> but yeah, the dragon fight was a little awkward. I was caught in this choke point, couldn't really go anywhere. So I got two v one by Sivir and Sejuani in the end. However, as soon as I finish that mythic, we should be looking really good against Sejuani. Come on, dude. I'll give him the cannon so he doesn't tilt, hopefully. I know all of this is unwarded. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. They're on Baron potentially. No, they're just dewarding. <clears throat> Gotta keep an eye out. Be really careful. Is this visible for long enough? It might just not be. It is, okay. Yeah, the vision denial squad on the prowl. I have a better vision score than our supports. <sighs> They're not on it, are they? I hope not. Okay. Yeah, but they established vision control. We need to reclaim it. Oh god, that's so terrible. Yeah, we lose the game off of this stupid play. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? I mean, I literally got the worst team possible, right? <coughs> Most trash Baron call ever, but I had no choice but to follow through. If I disengage, the play is lost guaranteed and we still lose Baron and... I mean, I, I live, yes, but we lose, either, we lose the game either way. If I participate and we die, and if I don't participate and they all die, we, we lose either way. So I had no choice but to follow through there. <sighs> Literally be, uh, beyond my control. Nothing I could have done. Super sad, but it is what it is. I'll get Wit's End now for damage and for Gwen. Yeah, I'm actually so strong, what? <laughs> just E auto for the Eclipse movement speed and then we just mow them down with uh, Blade of the Rune King. Too bad the rest of my team just straight up sucks. Uh, 
Yeah, no chance. I mean, I, I tried, that was wishful thinking, following up there with no chance to fight this. Zero. Ah, goodness gracious. Yeah, we, I mean, we lost off of that Baron call and off of Thresh being an idiot. It's, it's literally that. It's, uh, it is what it is, you know. It's outright AFK at this point. Again, he was tilted from minute one. So this is to be expected if things don't go his way. Literally can't exit my base. Yeah, GG. Yeah, minus 16 LP again. I mean, super bad luck all in all. I did what I could, but I mean, this this graph speaks for itself. The build, however, is very interesting. I will be playing a, uh, this a little bit more and see um, how it feels in the long run. Let me know what you think, though, and if you want to see my other misfortune builds, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.